This is Jack, sometimes known as Old Man Bay. Um, I got my internet back. Yeah, I went a while without internet. Decided to go to a different service. Um, got tired of paying too much with this other company. I don't want to say their name because, you know, all in all, they're really good. They just were charging too much. So, um, so I decided to quit them and uh, go to another company that's about, well, let me see. It's about four times as less, you know, from 146 to uh, 29.99 plus tax and all of the other stuff that they throw in there. So, at any rate, I'm very happy with them, and hopefully, uh, this won't turn out to be one of those things where they give you a good price and keep up in it. Uh, they said I was locked in for a year. Years, plenty of time to see how good they are. Any rate, I'm just doing a little vaping right now. Look at this. I got my old Segeli out. Yes, this is a Segeli 150 uh, temp control. And uh, oldie but goodie. I mean, this thing has been a... Uh, I've had it for a long time. Uh, a good, a good year, you know, uh, maybe longer. And, you know, it's still a good, good uh, uh, mod. Uh, I got my crown tank on it. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, this is my new mod uh, that replaced a, a mod that wasn't working good. And yeah, the, I've talked about this before, <coughs> but uh, the Ohm factory uh, replaced it straight up. Didn't give, didn't charge me extra or anything like it. Or you know, I just thought that was just really nice of them. Yeah, I've been watching some of these videos and all that about guys vaping and, you know, they're standing up there with no shirt on with all these rippling muscles, so I decided to put on my muscle shirt and, uh, yeah, flex these. Yeah, look at those guns. Um, you know, just to uh, impress the people around me, okay? I haven't put out a video for a while, so I decided I'd just throw one in there. This isn't, this is <coughs> one of my commentaries. Yes, I got that old throat syndrome. Uh, just to get back into it. Now, I want to tell you something, okay? This just happened to me. Um, somebody on Facebook, at least I believe it, yeah, somebody on Facebook uh, who's not my friend, and this has been happening quite a lot lately, and I'm concerned that it's because of these, but I've been getting these girls, at least I think they're girls, okay, because they might be guys running a scam, but I keep getting these naked pictures, and, you know, I gave this girl today a little lecture on, uh, on her, about having honor in her life and dignity that she doesn't even know me, and uh, here she is sending naked pictures and uh, what bothered me was that she started out the conversation like you're just like my dad and then she sends me naked pictures which you know where's your self 
worth that, you know? That, you know, and I lexed her and I told her if she was my daughter, I'd be very, very disappointed. Then I gave her a lecture about having respect for herself and uh, not to text me again, that I was very, very in love with my girlfriend and, you know, if I condoned this kind of stuff, uh, um, then I'd be dishonoring my girlfriend and, you know, I never want to do that. I never want to do something that's going to disappoint my girlfriend because I, I really love her, you know, and I just can't let those things into my life. guy named Mike who lives in Oregon uh, he, him and I have been friends for 17 18 years and, you know I seen him go through all of his stages we're both in recovery and we were in recovery together even worked at the same place and you know he's been an important factor in my life I can truly say he knows me and he's still willing to be my friend and vice versa I mean I just think this guy is great and you know what's weird we were t had the same conversation about other women how we're not interested in that that we found people in our lives that are uh, mean the world to us and we would never you know disrespect a whole different attitude that when we were kids or when we were in our addiction and all that, all that changes, you know. So I just wanted to share that with you. So if any of you girls are out there uh, wanting to send me naked pictures, don't, okay? I know it's hard to pass up on these, but restrain yourself. I'm a stranger, you don't know me, you don't know what I'm like, so please, Keep your admiration to yourself, and if you're guys, you're weird, okay? Just fucking weird, all right? So, anyway, that's all I want to say about this subject. Uh, I love my baby family, uh, and uh, I'm sorry I've been gone so long. Yes, I know I don't need to say I'm sorry, because... All of you people understand. Yes, I got the Christmas, Christmas, Christmas thing going on here. I love this tank. Uh, and I got my. Rebus tank here. And I love that tank. And <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling them all out. I got uh, my Triton on my Wismic and uh, I, I like these Triton tanks, okay? To me, they got some really good, good flavors. And I thought this Christmas tank, you know, I'd vape it on uh, anywhere from 40 to, you know, 60 watts and, you know, the flavors have been really good. But I saw on this uh, review, and this guy gave a little a rundown on the wattage and what the best taste was. And he said right around 90 watts, that's the, the sweet, you know, taste. And I'm thinking 90 watts, how could you vape on something at 90 watts? But I cranked it up at uh, 89 something, and I took a puff. This guy was not wrong. I mean, the flavor just came out 10 times better than what it was. So, <laughs> you can vape these pretty high. And 
I got this uh, orange cream vape going on. This is uh, by Swag Sauce. And let me tell you, I let it sit for about three, four weeks. And this flavor is great. I mean, for me, okay, my opinion, anytime somebody talks about, um, anytime somebody talks about um, liking a flavor, uh, it's all subjective. I mean, some people like liver. I'm one of them. Some people don't. Some people like possum. I had possum. It tastes good, but it's so greasy. And then raccoon. Oh my God, is that sweet meat? Okay. So yeah, some of us grew up country, you know, or at least here I am. I'm from LA, but I've lived in the South and up in the mountains and all different places. And you know, you eat what you can catch. So when I say this is grape juice, let me tell you, I really believe it's grape juice. Anyway, this is my little video for the day. And and my uh, little clouds, little clouds of love. Oh, and Pat Ryan, love you, brother. I am glad we're friends. You, you're just an all-around good guy. When you uh, reviewed that uh, swag sauce that you got, uh, and I'm with you. I like Game Changer. I haven't tried the other two. I think you were talking about. Maybe I did. I don't know. Uh, but I respect your opinion. Okay. Um, you know, and then what Brian did by offering to change out the juices for you and, and all that. Do shop owners, um, you know, mail order people, all of them, do they do that? You know, I've seen one at the, you know, they say if it's opened or it's been vaped on at all, uh, all sales are final. Okay, and I can understand that. Uh, Brian doesn't always do that, you know. Sometimes he, well, in fact, a lot of times, he goes that extra mile for his clients. Anyway, this is Dad, sometimes known as Old Man Babe, wishing you lots of love and lots of caring. Uh, no more naked pictures, please. God bless you, and God has blessed you all the spirits running through you.